Okay, today's review is the Charlotte Tilbury Hyaluronic Happy Kiss. And in honor of a Charlotte Tilbury review, I went a little bit extra glam today. I honestly don't remember the last time I did liquid eyeliner, a little bit of a winged out shadow, inner corner highlight. It just feels a little 2015 to me, but it's fun to do something a little bit different. So let's talk about the Charlotte Tilbury Happy Kiss. I was convinced to purchase one of these from Amanda Z. She's featured these in so many reviews and favorites videos on her channel. And based on her description, I just kind of knew that I would fall in love with it. I was just having a hard time finding accurate swatches online. So I finally found a Sephora that had every shade and I fell in love. While there are certainly cons to this product, I'm gonna go as far as to say this just became my second favorite lip product of all time. Obviously the Fit Glow Lip Serums are number one. They always will be, and I don't see that changing anytime soon. And if you missed my last video, I just launched my very own lip collector's kit with Fit Glow. So if you'd like to purchase that, you can check out the link in the description box below and use my code Kate20 for 20% off any Fit Glow. Um, but honestly, I haven't been this blown away by a lip product since the Fit Glow Lip Serums. And that's why I bought six of them. These are $34 each, don't do the math on that. But my logic was, you know, when you find a formula that you just actually crave applying, get it in every shade that you're gonna wear. And honestly, I could get rid of probably the majority of my lipstick collection and just be happy with these. They're incredibly nourishing and comfortable. They come in some really beautiful, sophisticated shades and they have a really subtle, sweet scent. But before we get into all of the positives of the formula and the experience and then the swatches, I'm gonna talk about the cons first because if you've seen any review of the Charlotte Tilbury Happy Kiss, I'm sure you've heard this feedback. This for a $34 product is like the cheapest, dinkiest little plastic that you will ever find. This feels like kids makeup. It feels like it could crack in a second. Certainly not what we would expect from Charlotte Tilbury. You know, the Hollywood Flawless Filter, all of her foundations, the Eyes to Mesmerize. Everything uh, usually has quite a heavy luxe feel, but it's very interesting that she went with this super lightweight, thin plastic. But to be honest with you, that's not necessarily a con for me personally. I just know that it's something that's gonna bother a lot of you. Honestly, I don't really mind the fact that this is really lightweight. I carry so much shit in my purse. I don't need something else heavy. And in fact, I pretty much carry like four lip products at any given time. So I kind of like that these are super lightweight but I completely understand if you guys just don't feel like it's okay to spend $34 on a product and have such shitty packaging. And also on the packaging, I'm sure you've seen in reviews that it can get quite messy around the top of the applicator where you apply it on your lips. It just gets so melty that it spreads all around the top. Personally, again, I don't really mind that because I just pop it on. It doesn't get all over me. I don't feel like I need to clean it. It just doesn't look particularly good. So let's talk about the formula. What makes it so special? First of all, in comparison to the M Cosmetics, the Charlotte Tilbury Happy Kiss has a very subtle, sweet scent. It's so subtle, you can't even put your fingers on what it is. It honestly just might be like softly sugar. Like it just smells ever so slightly sweet not in a candy way or an artificial way, just in a really pleasant way. And I find that the scent is so addictive. You know, I'm the kind of person where I only want my perfume to be fragranced and my lip products to be fragranced. I don't like fragranced hair products or body products or skincare. I just kind of want my perfume to shine and then I want the experience of something like really nice and delicious smelling on my lips. I just find that a little hint of something sweet, it's so subtle, it's not gonna be offensive to anyone who prefers unscented products, but it's just the most delicious scent and it really enhances the experience for me and that also makes it feel more luxurious. So let's talk about the formula. I'm wearing the shade Pillow Talk right now. As you can see, it is just this glossy, shiny, almost like vinyl shine product. It's like a vinyl, thick liquid lipstick mixed with a lip mask. It just smooths over your lip lines. It's the most thick, nourishing, 
comfortable, cushiony lip product that I've ever found outside of the Fit Glow Lip Serums. It is both hydrating and very occlusive at the same time. So it has hyaluronic acid, so it adds hydration, but it's so thick and occlusive that it also seals that in. I find that my lips just feel better after I wear these. In terms of the formula, the hype is very real. I also feel like it's a really nice one and done product because if you look at my lips, I mean, it's these are very pigmented and you can totally wear them with just like one swipe on the bottom and push your lips together and make it look more sheer and you know, more natural. But this is two layers and it kind of looks like I'm wearing a lip balm, a lipstick and a lip gloss. So I just feel like it's the kind of product that really makes you look put together in an instant. The way I wear it on a daily basis is I just swipe it on my bottom lip, do a little, you know, pop, pop, and then that's it. It just looks subtle, natural. It's not super shiny. It's not super pigmented. If you want to make it look more natural, you can just rub it in like that and it just looks really nice. I also find that because these are so thick and so nourishing yet non-sticky at all, they last a really decent amount of time. So if you don't like shiny lipsticks that are just not long wearing enough, you might really enjoy these because there is, I don't want to say they're sticky. Like you don't, you don't have like any type of tackiness between your lips, but they just kind of form a seal and that makes them long lasting without being sticky. They're thick and nourishing. So it kind of just checks all of the boxes that I need in a formula. Okay, let's get into some swatches because I know that's what you're all waiting for. Okay, this is the shade Crystal Happy Kiss, a very, very sheer kind of light pink. And this is Crystal Happy Kiss in indirect lighting. And I'm comparing that to the Glossier Ultra Lip in Lucite, but that one's a bit lighter, a bit more pigmented, and definitely a bit milkier. Next up we have my favorite Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, and I think that that one's just my perfect My Lips But Better shade. It doesn't really get much better than this for me, and it goes with everything. I'm comparing that to the M Cosmetics Lip Cushion in Venetian Rose. Venetian Rose is a touch darker, a touch more gray. Um, and then I got Rowan Liquid Lip Balm in Charlie. Just a lot more sheer, but also a touch more gray. And finally, the Glossé Ultra Lip in Villa, which is lighter and a little peachier or a little more pink. So they look very similar, as you can see, but Pillow Talk is definitely my favorite. This is Happy Love. This is the one that's exclusive to charlottetilbury.com. And very similar to M Cosmetics Angel, but Angel is more pigmented and brighter. Uh, Happy Love's a little bit more cool toned as well. Then we have Enchanting Kiss from Charlotte Tilbury. I would describe it as a peachy pink. And pretty similar to M Cosmetics Magic Hour, although Magic Hour, as you can see, is definitely more noticeably peach, and um, Enchanting Kiss is more pink. This is the shade Happy Petal from Charlotte Tilbury. It's described as a tawny nude, and I think it looks that way on my hand, but in person, on my lips, it pulls much more orange. And lastly, I have Romance Kiss, which is a darker version of Enchanting Kiss. It's like an orangey pink on my lips. You'll see in the footage later. And that's it. That's everything I have. Okay, so let's do a demo of each of the shades so you can see how they look on my lips with one layer and then built up. The first is the shade Crystal Happy Kiss. Crystal Happy Kiss is nearly clear. It is on me basically a similar version of like the Dior lip glow. You can see it just adds a subtle flush of light pink on my hand. I think this is most comparable to Glossier Lucite, but I do prefer this because it's very sheer. You can see I can just keep going and going and going and it's so sheer it really never is too much in terms of this shade. It's almost clear. 
And I don't think that it's like such a light pink that it would look milky on dark skin. I think it's really, really sheer. So I do think this one could work for everyone. Tiny, tiny hint of pink, barely their color, but it just kind of makes me look a little bit more put together and polished. And I have to say, surprisingly, Crystal Happy Kiss is my second favorite shade. My number one favorite shade is Pillow Talk. And I'm sure that's obvious to you because that's their best-selling shade pretty much in every line. But Pillow Talk to me, I was unsure of. I actually, this wasn't the first one that I purchased. Amanda Z raved about this color, but in every image and every video and every swatch I saw, Pillow Talk has always looked too mauve, too purple, too gray. It didn't actually seem like on my lips, but better color to me. And I tried, you know, the Pillow Talk lipstick and I just felt like it was always a little too mauve for my lips. But this one, when you look in the tube, it looks pretty mauve -y. Like it's definitely got a little hint of, of like a purple, a little bit of gray, but on my lips, it pulls more pink. So that's just one layer. And you know, you can do this twist up, but just be warned, you can't twist it down, so don't go crazy. And then if I build it up, you can see it's it's actually not so much of a mauve. It's really like a, a My Lips But Better shade because there's a little bit of pink in there. There might be a little bit of brown, but there's a little bit of mauve. It really is just that perfect color. And I don't have the Pillow Talk Classic lipstick to compare this to, but I do feel like this is a little bit more pink than that lipstick was. But in the bullet, it does look quite purple. And every time I wear this specifically in the shade Pillow Talk, I get compliments, like no matter what. Everyone always asks me like, what are you wearing on your lips? This one is just a forever fave. This next one is called Happy Love and it is exclusively available on the Charlotte Tilbury website. This is much more of a classic pink. I think if I had to compare this to something, this looks almost identical to M Cosmetics Angel. There are a lot of similarities between the Charlotte Tilbury shades and the M Cosmetics, although there are many more uh, through Charlotte Tilbury, but this is very similar to M Cosmetics Angel. It's that beautiful, warm pink. It just brightens up my face. I love wearing this with just like a soft shimmer on my eyes and I just find that it really lifts my face and I'll do a pop of pink blush. Again, Happy Love is only available on the Charlotte Tilbury website, but this is one of my favorite shades. So I'm really glad that I went through the trouble of purchasing through their site online. And it was nice because Charlotte Tilbury adds like a bunch of samples that you can choose from. I found that their shipping was fast and free, so it really wasn't a hassle at all. The next shade is called Happy Petal. This is described as a tawny nude. This one is definitely more pigmented with one swipe than the others, so I do like to take my finger and I just blend it. I don't exactly know what tawny means, but I imagine this to be a little bit more neutral brown. It's pulling quite orange on me, so I have to say this is probably my least favorite out of the shades I've tried. But instead, I think I might want to try Passion Kiss, which is supposed to be a brown. And I think I would really like that, although it is quite dark and pigmented. Um, but I think a lot of people will like this. I know a lot of you out there really like warm toned lipsticks, especially anything kind of orangey. So I would describe this as not a tawny nude. I would describe this more as a soft orange, I think. So that's Happy Petal built up with two layers. Again, not my favorite, but I think a lot of people are probably gonna like this one. This is Enchanting Kiss and it is also one of my favorites. So just as a very light layer, I would describe this as kind of a soft peachy pink. Definitely a little bit of pink in there, but I think it pulls more peachy than the other shades. So that's how Enchanting Kiss looks like with one layer. Let's do two. This is probably really similar to M Cosmetics Magic Hour, I would say, but I'll compare them in the end. Um, I just love that this is a really nice peachy pink. It's not too bright, not too pigmented. I just find that it's much more of a good match for my personal skin tone. And the next shade is kind of like a darker version of this one. The last shade I have is called Romance Kiss. 
you can see much more pigmented than the last one but it still has that peachy pink vibe except instead i would say this is more of like an orangey pink so if you have darker skin you might want to go for romance kiss again when i'm getting into the more pigmented shades it's definitely a little bit harder for me to have control because of the bullet size so i have to kind of just be a little careful it is the kind of product i would have to use a mirror for if i'm using these brighter shades but if you have bigger lips or darker skin then you probably won't have an issue so this is romance kiss i would describe it as an orange with a hint of pink or maybe like a dark peachy pink whatever you like um, I really like this one, but I would say I prefer Enchanting Kiss over this one because that one's just a little bit lighter and a touch more sheer. Time for the comparison. I pulled out some similar formulas and colors, the Glossier Ultra Lips, the N Cosmetics Lip Cushions, and the Rowan Liquid Lip Balms. First, this is Pillow Talk on my hands from Charlotte Tilbury. And what I think is most obviously similar is the M Cosmetics Lip Cushion in Venetian Rose, although there are differences between these two, absolutely. Um, the M Cosmetics is right here, and as you can see, it just pulls a little bit more gray. I much prefer the Charlotte Tilbury Happy Kiss and Pillow Talk because a touch of that warmth comes through. I just prefer that touch of warmth, but if you like a little bit more gray, if you don't want something that's quite as bright even though this isn't a bright shade then go for m cosmetics venetian rose and i wanted to see how this would be compared to the rowan liquid lip balm in charlie it does seem like rowan charlie is the exact same shade as m cosmetics venetian rose pillow talk has just a touch more warmth charlie and venetian rose have a touch more gray i'm also curious to see pillow talk compared to the glossier ultra lips in villa very very similar shade but there is quite a difference between the two villa is actually a bit lighter and a bit more bright so pillow talk is right here and villa is just a little bit lighter maybe a little bit peachier as well so i would say you probably don't need to own all of these but they're all fantastic very comfortable nourishing formulas so it just depends on what your preferences are for color and for formula but i would say that these two uh villa and pillow talk are the most different out of all four of those shades i have a little bit of a hunch that the crystal happy kiss is going to be somewhat similar to the Glossier Ultra Lips in Lucite, but not entirely. Yeah, okay, I was right. So again, similar in terms of how they look on the lips, but Glossier is lighter. It's definitely a little bit more of that milky pink, whereas Crystal Happy Kiss is almost clear and not as bright or as light as Lucite. Okay, now we've got Happy Love from Charlotte Tilbury compared to M Cosmetics Angel. Uh, Happy Love is, as you can see, a touch more cool toned, whereas Angel is uh, brighter and much more pigmented, I would say. Very, very similar look on the lips though, um, but if you thought that Angel was just a little too bright, a little too warm, then maybe go for Happy Love. And again, you know, if you like a product that's scented, go for Charlotte Tilbury, or if you like a slimmer bullet, go for M Cosmetics. So similar look on the lips, but uh, Charlotte Tilbury is more cool toned for Happy Love. And Angel M Cosmetics is a little bit more warm and a little bit darker. Ha ha, I knew it. Okay. <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury Enchanting Kiss is right here. And then M Cosmetics Magic Hour is right here. Very similar. The difference between the two is Magic Hour has a touch more peach. Enchanting Kiss has a touch more pink. So depending on your color preferences, hopefully that helps. But I would say in terms of how light or dark or pigmented or bright they are, exactly the same. M Cosmetics Magic Hour just has a touch more peach. I do find in terms of the formula that the Glossier Ultra Lips are a bit more stiff. I find that when I'm wearing the Ultra Lips, because they're a little harder and a little stiff at first, I really have to build them up in order to get that nourishment. And by that time that I get all the nourishment I need, there sometimes can be a little bit too much pigment, not with the shade Lucite, but with all the other shades. I would say that the Glossier Ultra Lips comes in third for me. The M Cosmetics Lip Cushions come in second place. I do prefer the size and shape of the bullet. I like how this is angled. The size of the bullet fits my top lip 
perfectly, but if you have larger lips, you might prefer the Charlotte Tilbury. And I also prefer the Charlotte Tilbury over the M Cosmetics because these are unscented and I just prefer my lip products to have a little bit of something sweet smelling in them. I think the M Cosmetics are a little bit more pigmented and melty at first. So that was Venetian Rose. If I compare that to Pillow Talk, yeah, okay, yeah. I think the formula of M Cosmetics is a little bit thinner so it's like meltier more quickly and that kind of makes it a touch more pigmented in my opinion as well whereas the charlotte chilbury i think goes on a touch more sheer at first it's kind of the formula that's not as stiff as the glossier but not as thin as the m cosmetics which to me is perfect it's my perfect goldilocks formula between that because it's thick and it's nourishing, but it's not instantly crazy, crazy pigmented, although you can build it up to a very pigmented color. And the thickness of these is just perfect so that it really stays within my lip lines and just feels ultra nourishing. I hope this video was helpful. If you tried these, let me know your thoughts. Uh, you can get all the descriptions to what I have on my face and what I'm wearing in the description box below. And if you want more reviews like this, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.